Laura? Can I come and see you later? Yeah. Give me an hour. Morning, Mike. Looking forward to your drinks. Oh, they're not. Oh, God. You see an email from Roger? They're not replacing you, after all that. What? Why? You're surprised. Just glad that's all they did. But what about next year? If I'd known, I'd... Perhaps that's why. Isn't Roger here yet? No. What's wrong? They're scrapping my post. There's not going to be another full-time drawing tutor. What about Mike or Claire? They're not canvas artists. Did you know? I know everything that goes on around here, good or bad. Everyone else seems quite happy with it. I could have stayed. No, you couldn't. And you know it. Oh, what the hell. I'll be out of here tomorrow. The students will be someone else's problem. <sighs> I don't know what on earth I'm going to do after today. You could always try painting again. Don't. It's the last thing I want to think about. Coming to see you. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. What did you want to see me about? I've got some new work to show you. Oh, come on. Yes, you've really captured the movement. It wasn't planned. I did it as a game more than anything. I can see you getting quicker and sharper as you go along. It takes a lot of confidence to embrace movement like this. Stop thinking about technique. <laughs> That's all I ever see now. I want what you have. You've given me so much. I couldn't have done it without your help. Have you spoken to Roger? What did it feel like? It was liberating. I could see things differently. Then you don't need me anymore. I'd like to say a few words on the occasion of Laura's retirement. Now, as you know, I became the head of department five years ago after spending a number of years at Essex, but Laura's reputation already preceded her. Not only was she known as a fine artist, but she had become a formidable teacher and a real asset to this department. But all things must change, and now this era has come to an end. Her drive and enthusiasm will continue to push us forward, and I hope that we will live up to her high expectations. Raise your glasses to the irreplaceable Laura Ballard. Laura. 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 
Right. Cake. Oh, God, I hate them for their youth. Why did I let it happen? Let it happen? You know what I mean. They wanted my help. That's very noble. So what did you get out of it? I wanted this place to show me what I've been missing. They all seem to have it but me. They're always going to be young and full of ideas, but it's our job to help them grow, not to complicate their lives. I went too far. You certainly did. I got offered this job by this rather exclusive French college a few years ago. Turned it down. Why? Scared they'd find me out. I haven't painted for 15 years. <laughs> so what did you think of Roger's speech? Sanctimonious bastard. Roger. Irreplaceable. There's not the money. Oh, don't give me that. It's a good solution for all of us. You get your pension and we get rid of you quietly. How many were there? What? You were here to teach. The last thing we wanted was an inquiry. Just be grateful for that instead of blaming me. You used to be such a good artist. They need me. They're students. They don't know what they need. We take their money and we teach them how to walk again. We don't use them. But... Laura, I don't care. <laughs>